All right, we're being joined by Mr. Oguzokalu Ofia Mwali, who is the Commissioner for Finance and Industry in Ebony State. Uh, give us an update on the industrialization drive of the Ebony State government after its inauguration. That's one year after its inauguration. When we came on board, it's good that we understand the fact that uh, the government of Right Honorable Francis Obon and Wifu is doing everything possible to have Ebony as a business hub of the Southeast. A young state like Ebony should be properly industrialized to be able to provide jobs to our teaming youths. So far, so good, we've been able to revitalize the Ebony pipe industry. And again, sinking in over 1 billion naira for us to purchase the machines for PVC and already we have a four line for HDP. Immediately after 29th May, the 30th, the governor approved funds for us to purchase line that will be producing PPR pipe machine. And as I speak with you, payments too will be made to the companies on Monday for them to also start shipping the machine for us that we expect in a couple of months. We'll have that industry build, have industry, that industry producing a PPR pipe and also a PVC pipes and a HDPI pipe. So indeed, how many Marburn industries is the government hoping to revamp? We already know the plastic pipe industry is in the works. We're trying to set up a biogradable plywood processing plant, where we'll be sure that at the end finishing, we'll have something like this. Like the, the, these, the panels. Panels again in Ebony. Do we see it as... One thing that we need to do to ease those who are doing furniture, those who want to furnish houses, and having seen that it's almost the highest grade cost of what we are using to do our finishes. The Ebony State government is also looking at bringing the machine that produces this. It will be installed in the Ebony BD material, and then in the Ebony BD material, we also bring a machine that produces interlocking, vibrated interlocking. The vibrated interlocking is giving you an edge over other interlockings because there you have an interlocking that heavy duties can also ply on and will not get break. Because why people are going away with interlocking is that a very small machine that or, 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 or vehicle that come into your compound, it breaks into pieces. But when it is vibrated, it will serve the purpose of industry to for you to be able to use in industry and for you to be using it at home in a way that it will not also break into pieces. Well, of course, you've talked about the industrialization drive of the state government. How many jobs actually is the state government hoping to create uh, through this uh, process? When we came on board, it's good that we understand the fact that uh, the government of Right Honorable Francis Obon and Wifu is doing everything possible to have Ebony as a business hub of the Southeast. A young state like Ebony should be properly industrialized to be able to provide jobs to our teaming youths. So far, so good, we've been able to revitalize the Ebony pipe industry. And again, sinking in over 1 billion naira for us to purchase the machines for PVC and already we have a four line for HDP. Immediately after 29th May, the 30th, the governor approved funds for us to purchase line that will be producing PPR pipe machine. And as I speak with you, Payments too will be made to the companies on Monday for them to also start shipping the machine for us that we expect in a couple of months. We'll have that industry build, have industry, that industry producing a PPR pipe and also a PVC pipes 
and the HDP I five. So agriculture is also part of this. Uh, the state has just flagged off the wet farming season, Commissioner. Now, there are several agricultural projects being considered, including export of rice and other produce. Tell us more about this, if you will. In the next couple of months and years, again, to celebrate, we'll have a lot of stories to tell Ebonians and to tell Nigeria. Like Nigerians are aware that Ebony State is one of the states that produces rice in a very large quantity. The rice we produce in Ebony is certainly one of the best in Nigeria. The market for rice production and export is seriously valued as far as Ebony is concerned. For us, Ebony, the governor intends to do a massive export of our rice to other countries of need, and we have enough to export. And that is why the countries too are in discussion with Ebony for them to have access to the product we have here for their end's use. And this were made possible because Ebony rice industry is fully functional and have one of the best brains that manages it. That industry tends to feed the whole of Nigeria. And the government is doing everything possible to be sure that we'll have whatever Ebony needs in place and effectively functional for the benefit and the use of Ebonians and for Nigerians to also feel that Ebony is on the rise.